Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, do you remember back in the playground days when your racket looked like that and you had one of these laying around in your bag? What did you do? Stay tuned. Good morning to everybody out there. Morning Cup of Joe Roast is sponsored by Joshua today. Joshua didn't say anything, so I would like to thank Joshua for sponsoring my Hot Cup of Joe Dark Roast of the day. If you want to support my piping hot coffee habit, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. Thank you everyone in advance and thank you everyone who's bought me a coffee. I truly appreciate it. Mm. Nice and hot today. Okay, so I was just reminiscing back to the days when I used to play at the park and I would play with my grip until it kind of looked like that, all worn out. And then, I mean, obviously, I'm not prepared most of the time. I may or may not have one of these in my bag. Um, or I would tell my, ask my buddy Terry, Terry, hey. And he would break open a three pack. I was like, hey, let me get one of those. All right. And he would say, here. So he would hand me an overgrip just like this. And I would be like, oh, cool. And this was kind of before I, w I put on so many grips that I've had so much practice. So I'm going to show you what I did back in the day. Um, I, I tore off the thing, threw the plastic in the garbage can. I took the grip. I took the grip uh, finishing tape off and prepared it. You know, Terry and I were great about um, preparing the, the finishing tape here. So we would undo that and put it on the bench just like that. We would put it on the bench so that we could just grab it when we were done with the grip. Now we'll pull the tab off. And I'm gonna show you, come on in, come on in. Right, real fast guys, real fast. So, Obviously, we didn't have scissors over there. We didn't have finishing tape or any of that stuff. But I would do that, do that. And at the end, I would have all this slack, right? What would I do with all this slack, right? I would make sure I got everything covered and I just pull it off, right? So that's all gone. But what about this ugly thing, the ugliness here? What about this ugliness here? Well, check this out. We were a little bit more of a perfectionist and we wanted it to look good. So I'm gonna show you what we did. So we backed it out, right? Remember, you want the straight edge here so it looks good down through. So you want to do something to the top part, never to the bottom part, okay? We take the the end, we back it up to right about there, okay? We take the top part and we fold, keeping the straight edge, fold, and there, okay? So we hold this part with it folded just like so. And we take the finishing tape and we just finish it off. All right, so that's how we used to do it. Back on the playground or at the courts at City College. All right, check that out for yourself. So just rip it right off. Make sure you rip off um, 
enough to leave so you can fold it down and finish it off with the tape. All right, guys, brings back a lot of memories. Hopefully, you can make some of your own on the court by putting on an overgrip just like we did. All right, guys, special guests. What's your name and where are you guys from? My name is Wai Hong. And Julia, and we're from Singapore. And they came all the way out here just for me? We yeah. did. No way. <laughs> yeah. All right. Taking us out today, go for it. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin. Where we put our spin on your tennis. Oh! I got you, Rob, buddy. Look, I got you, Rob. Oh, hey. I got you, Rob. I got you, Rob. Thank you for, thank you for the weekly lesson, dude. Oh, I got you, Rob. I got you, Rob. I got you, Rob. Now, if you want a patient pro just like Coach Rob, hey, play your court is the place. The, your pro can come to you, right? They can come out to your site. All you need to do is go to playercourt.com. You can even get a discount there. Playercourt.com forward slash tennis spin. Harry, are you sure you're right-handed? <laughs>